What? <laughs> Everton three, Chelsea one. Mate, I, I don't even know where to begin with this. This game had everything. Fight, determination, ball boys being hugged, Leighton Baines, and Duncan as the manager. Player, captain, manager. You know, as I, I said in the live chat earlier on, this is the stuff of dreams for any Everton fan. You know, and to manage the club. And now to have... Uh, you know what, even if he just has one game and it's against Chelsea, he's got a 100% record. 100% record. Now, he can just say, right, I don't want the job, I'm happy with that experience because he just instilled, but he's just instilled everything in, back into that team that we've lacked through Marco Silva. You know, pressing, pace, swamping the ball, making it difficult for defenders, making it difficult for midfields and attackers and just all round good play. And just uh, the whole sense of enjoying playing football again with Everton, and you could hear it in the crowd. You just enjoy, people just enjoyed watching Everton again. I mean, how often does that happen? It hasn't happened at all this season. It's been so poor, and it's you know gutting to see. But you know, we started absolutely brilliantly. Goal early on after four minutes from Richarlison. Another great ball and another assist from Jibril Sadibe. Give the lad his doubts. He's Full of defending, but he can put a ball in, um, and then you know we went went into half time. Great, everything's going, everything's going fine, and then Calvert Lewin scores again, makes it two 0 after four another four minutes. You know, uh, I'm 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 grateful to Kurt Zuma. I think he's still definitely got a little bit of a soft spot for Everton. So thanks, Kurt, for gifting us that second goal. Obviously, the deficit was cut really quickly. You know, Kovacic uh, scored scored just a couple of minutes afterwards. And then it was game on again, and it was like, where we'd where we'd have played a Marco Silva team there, we'd have capitulated and probably conceded a second and a third, and ends up losing the game three two. We stuck to a game plan today, and Dominic Calvert Lewin was excellent. Ran the line so well, he he bossed it. He had he players down. Morgan Schneiderlin even played well. Gilfy Sigurdsson. All right, to play well. It will be seems to be back in get back involved. He struggled early in the first half, but then seems to come into it. I'm so, I'm just so happy for Duncan Ferguson, man. I'm I'm made up for Everton. We're back. We're in 14th place, and we're all right now. It's 10 to three, but we'll see how the you know the next couple of hours go. But he's just it, it's almost like a spark has just been ignited there that this team is capable of doing it. Theo Walcott in the in the in the interviews just before said we played the Everton way. That might be that might sound cliche and it might sound like it, it almost harks back to da- David Moyes days of saying oh well the Everton way there was gritty getting in people's faces and being you know all, all about niggly but there was some good play I mean if you watch that third goal between Calvert Lewin and T- and Tom Davis yeah it was good it was great to see you know the link up play was good Tom Davis was really unlucky not to get a goal out of that Carver Loon's in the right place at the right time, gets a second goal, gets a, uh, you know, the first time he scored two goals in the Premier League in one game. Long may that continue. I thought that was great. And now because of that, Moyes Keane has got something he's gonna to have to step up and go, Oh well, I've I've got to I've got to get in front of Calvert Lewin now. Because Calvert Lewin will continue to keep that place because he, he does he does the ugly stuff as well. So I'm just buzzing. I've just listened to the interview with Duncan and it was like I don't want. I don't really want the job. But you know, you know, deep down, if the manager said, if the chairman and um, the owner come to him and said, "Listen, Duncan, can you take this to the end of the season?" He'd probably go, "Yeah." But he, he's also realistic about it and said, "It's only one game." You know, and if he if he walks away now with a hundred percent record, then he can hold his head high and say, "Listen, I did my job. I stood in in a time of crisis and I've done it." Now, from what I've seen on Twitter as well, uh, Niko Kovac, former Bayern Munich manager, who was uh, was he let go sometime in November, was at the ground. So whether he's a uh, a candidate, and he you know we brought him in to see well you know what what's what's the game all about what what are Everton about, and I think he's just got a taste of that there. If there's a if there's a a, a reason to want to come to Everton, with that atmosphere, it's that you'd want to bring that every week to Goodison Park and if Kovac is the man for that and the board think that if Bayern Munich think that, then think he's the man for the, for the job to do the Bayern Munich job then 
you know, okay, he, he, he did have a rough patch of, uh, uh, when he was when he was there, but obviously they've seen something in him that is capable of a you know a, a, a Champions League side. Whether that's building the side and you know it, it's redeveloping Everton at the moment, it's, it's a different thing. But it's worth it's worth looking at now and thinking, well, hang on, what kind of candidate is he? Is he willing to do that? And I haven't seen that. I think you know what I, I think even if Pochettino was there today as a, as a candidate, I think if he'd have been invited and gone, come and see what you're gonna miss, he won't know what he's missed there. Same with a lot of managers who will come to Goodison and go, thanks but no thanks, mate. There's no atmosphere like it. Everton three, Chelsea one, up the fucking toffees. See you in a bit. <laughs>